you afraid of me? You should be, because I'm going to kick your ass when I find you. Firing bullets, lobbing grenades, shooting lasers, the number of ways you can deal death in Fallout New Vegas are nearly endless. Each weapon type has its own unique appeal, but the ones that always hold a special place in everyone's mind are as big as people and as deadly as they look. In other words, oversized arms, or big guns. Though the big guns category was removed from New Vegas, oversized arms are still just as easy to spot. They all either mount on the shoulder or hang below the waist when held, and their drawn holstering animations are far more cumbersome than any normal weapon. In addition, these guns all have some of the highest skill requirements in the game that must be met before they can be used properly. Not to say you can't use them if you don't meet those requirements, but if your special or skill level isn't high enough, these arms just won't hit as hard as they can. Something to keep in mind before going through the trouble to find these larger-than-life hand cannons. When you talk about heavy weapons, it's very difficult not to somehow bring up the minigun. While the base model is powerful and worth mentioning in its own right, its enhanced counterpart, the CZ-57 Avenger, is superior in many different ways. It comes with some cons, though, amongst which are its smaller ammunition capacity, lower critical rate, and ability to break down faster. However, those negative elements are countered by its increased damage per bullet and significantly reduced spread. To find this gun, you need to head to the Devil's Throat, located east of Bitter Springs and much more north than east of Hoover Dam. The Devil's Throat is a crater filled with radioactive barrels surrounded by feral ghouls and centaurs. In the middle of the crater is an old truck, and inside is a dead prospector, lying next to the CZ-57 Avenger. All you have to do is walk up, grab it, and then you can start shredding enemies with it. The missile launcher in general is a very powerful weapon in New Vegas, and being one of the most cumbersome arms available, it isn't something you would typically carry around on a regular basis. However, if you're interested in landing a heavy blow, then you should seek out the improved model called Annabelle. Annabelle isn't any stronger than a standard missile launcher, but it's twice as durable, uses less AP and VATS, and is more accurate. If you're interested in this weapon, it can be found on a Nightkin sniper at Black Mountain. Black Mountain is located almost directly east of Good Springs, not too far from Sloan and the Deathclaw infested Quarry Junction. The Nightkin stands on a radio tower platform at the top of the mountain. To get Annabelle, you simply need to kill the mutant and loot the weapon off of its body. If you're an energy weapons fanatic, this next arm should make your whole body tingle with delight. Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Essentially an energy version of the missile launcher, the Tesla Beaten prototype serves as one of the heaviest hitting weapons in New Vegas. Even though it's less durable than the standard Tesla cannon, it boasts increased damage per discharge and substantially higher critical damage. The biggest advantage regarding this weapon, though, is how it's usually easier to find than the standard model. The Tesla Beaten prototype can be found at the crash site of an old vertebrate, located far south of Novak and far east of the Mojave outpost. The downed vertebrate is guarded by several high-level robots, though, so make certain that you're well-equipped if you're interested in trying to pick up this weapon. Dealing death by plasma is rather unusual in Fallout New Vegas, due to the overarching lack of plasma-based weapons in the game. However, one of the heavier-hitting arms available for use is the Plasma Caster. This weapon has no superior model and can be found in only one certain location. The Van Graffs, who run the Silver Russian Free Side, stock them. They aren't cheap, though, so having plenty of caps is important if you want to get one that's in good condition. There is an alternative method to acquire one for free, though, albeit in poor condition. If you go to the Silver Russian Free Side, a plasma caster can be found on one of the main weapon tables. If you walk up and grab the weapon, you can carry it to a location where you can steal it without being seen. For those of you who don't know, Grabbing means to pick up an item without adding it to your inventory and manipulate it in the world space. 
You can do this by hovering your cursor over the item and holding the Z key on the computer or pushing down the right analog stick on your controller. By doing this, you pick up the item, but don't take it. So you can drag whatever you want to a location where you can steal it without being seen. A machine gun that fires grenades. That idea in and of itself seems very unusual, but nonetheless deadly and awesome at the same time. Shredding enemies with a grenade machine gun is great, but the real way to do it is with the enhanced version called Mercy. Mercy has a smaller magazine, but fires 40mm grenade rounds instead of 25mm, resulting in an increased damage rating. This oversized armament can be found in Deadwind Cavern, located east of Prim and southwest of Novak. Deadwind Cavern is a very dangerous place and is infested with many death claws of varying power. In the very back of the cave, Mercy can be found sitting next to the body of a dead Brotherhood of Steel paladin, guarded by a legendary Deathclaw. It should go without saying that getting this gun is one of the more difficult challenges to complete in the game. Ah, while shooting foes is all good and fun, blowing them up is even more fun. And the most spectacular explosions are generated from the one and only Fat Man. A miniature nuclear catapult that allows you to rain down atomic death on your foes, the Fat Man is the most powerful weapon all around in the entirety of New Vegas. Literally, nothing compares to this weapon. There are two places in the Mojave Wasteland where a Fat Man can always be found. The first is in Nopa Cave, located northeast of Good Springs and southwest of the New Vegas Strip. Nopa Cave is infested with fire geckos though, so caution should be taken. No matter how you deal with the scaly beast, though, you can find the Fat Man on a dead super mutant in the back of the cave. The second, and less advisable instance to acquire, is located in a pool of water more east than north of Good Springs, in Quarry Junction. If you don't already know, Quarry Junction is one of the most dangerous places in the Mojave Wastes, as it's rancid with death claws. No one should ever go poking around this area unless fully prepared. You've been warned, so enter at your own risk. Obviously, there are more weapons in New Vegas than the oversized arms I mentioned here, but they still represent some of the strongest and most desirable firepower available. However, if you're looking for shotguns, energy weapons, traditional firearms, or maybe a panoply of close-range equipment, then check out the rest of the Fallout New Vegas weapon suite from Visit Guides and Kerosene Dreams. Since you don't seem willing to do the world a favor and kill yourself, I guess I'm going to have to do it for you.